Have you ever wondered what the universe looked like in its very first moments? James Webb provides the answer, and now there's no turning back as the telescope has found a primordial galaxy as old as the universe itself. But were galaxies born with the Big Bang and if so, what did they look like? Thanks to this groundbreaking discovery, must we now really assume that some magical moment gave birth to a finished universe? If these new impressions are correct, then our entire physics would be a huge mistake. Join us on this cosmic journey, there's no turning back now. James Webb Telescope discovers a galaxy as old as the universe. The discovery of Macy's galaxy changes everything. It was discovered in 2022 by an astronomer named Stephen Finkelstein, who named the galaxy Macy's galaxy in honor of his daughter. This galaxy is not only a fascinating object because of its age, the circumstances of its discovery must also give scientists pause for thought. Originally, it was believed that Macy's galaxy was formed about 390 million years after the Big Bang. This assumption was based on the first observations and analyses of the James Webb Telescope. But then it turned out that this galaxy is much older, and researchers added another 100 million years. Macy's galaxy therefore already existed 290 million years after the Big Bang. The light that we catch from this galaxy today has been traveling through space and time to reach us for more than 13.5 billion years. 290 million years after the Big Bang, this galaxy was already so large and perfect that it could not possibly have just come into existence according to our previous physical considerations. Galaxies like this one need billions of years to grow. This would mean that Macy's galaxy was already billions of years old, 290 million years after the Big Bang. What does it mean now to observe a galaxy that old? To understand this, we need to take a journey through time and space. Researchers have hypothesized an epoch of cosmic dawn that began around 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. This would be exactly the period from which the first stars and galaxies began to shine. Before that, the universe was largely dark. During this dark age, complex processes took place in the universe that made the appearance of matter and light possible. Macy's galaxy breaks all records. It is fascinating how astronomers managed to determine the age of such distant objects almost exactly. The precise age determination of Macy's galaxy and many others was made possible by spectroscopic analysis. This technique, which breaks down light into its various wavelengths, allows astronomers to determine the chemical composition, distance, and other important properties of celestial bodies. Of course, the scientists do not do this manually, but computers do the work. They scan every spot of light in the image and can calculate individual details thanks to the light wave analysis. To be really sure, researchers always work with different computers and slightly modified algorithms. Only when several analyses come to the same results are they considered certain in the world of science. In this way, the age of Macy's galaxy was corrected by another 100 million years. But how can a spectroscopic analysis actually determine the age of a galaxy? The answer lies in the redshift. When light travels through the expanding universe, it is stretched, which leads to a shift into the red wavelength range. This redshift provides precise information about the age and distance of the galaxy. In the case of Macy's galaxy, the redshift was so extreme that it was promptly named one of the two oldest known galaxies in the universe. The further observation of such an old galaxy is also exciting. This is no easy task, as the light is extremely faint. Nevertheless, this is no problem for our new super telescope. James Webb was specially designed to capture and dissect even the faintest light signals. Researchers are currently searching around the oldest galaxies for clues to the rest of the alleged dark ages. Somewhere in the vicinity of Macy's galaxy, it should still be possible to find difficult to penetrate swaths of hydrogen gas nebulae.
work on Finkelstein's discoveries is still ongoing, and the research team has already made an interesting statement about the future. Macy's Galaxy is not alone. The researchers from Austin, Texas found dozens if not hundreds of other light signals in the vicinity of the galaxy, suggesting even more very old galaxies. The future of space exploration is at stake. One thing is already certain. We are currently moving into a whole new era of space exploration. With the James Webb Telescope at the forefront of astronomical research, we are likely to discover even older and more distant galaxies that will give us even deeper insights into the mysteries of the universe. And of course, we will also get ever closer to answering the big question about the Big Bang. The discovery of Macy's galaxy is more than just a scientific achievement. It's a window into a time that we have never before been able to observe with our own eyes. Discoveries like this show us once again that the universe is full of wonders, and they are a challenge to science. We are on the cusp of a revolution, and with every new glimpse into the cosmos, more astonishing discoveries are made. Many theories are currently being put to the test, and even Albert Einstein's relativity equations could soon reach their limits. It was to be expected that science would experience constant upheaval. No one has yet been able to explain the universe in its full size and splendor in mathematical and scientific terms. We need a new science and the dawn of a whole new era. The shocker, the deep image of James Webb has fascinated and shocked astronomers. It actually only shows a few galaxies but on closer inspection, the image turned out to be a window to the truth about the past of the universe. But why is James Webb's deep image so revolutionary for our understanding of the universe? It's quite simple. This image is impressive not only because of its beauty and detail, but also because of the deep insights it offers us into the earliest epochs of the cosmos. With the Webb telescope, mankind has truly achieved a masterpiece of modern astronomy and engineering. It was specially developed to look into the deepest and oldest parts of the universe. Deep images like this one are created by long exposure times during which the telescope can collect even extremely faint light pulses from distant galaxies. The first image of this kind was a shocker. A scientist who had been declared mad used the Hubble Space Telescope and pointed it for days at a practically empty space in the universe. The horror among the astronomers was enormous because the observation times of Hubble and now Webb are rare. Every scientist and every working group can apply for observation time with a specific project. NASA and all the other space agencies involved then decide who can use the telescope, for how long and for what purpose. This crazy American scientist decided to use precious observation time to point Hubble at an empty space in the Big Dipper. But Robert Williams knew what he was doing. At the end of the exposure time, the first depth image of the universe was taken. The idea behind it is simple and ingenious. Where there are few stars and galaxies in the foreground, the light from galaxies much further back should become visible in the course of a long-term observation. Williams was right, and for the first time, researchers saw more old galaxies in one spot than ever before. Williams has gone from crank to celebrated hero. When James Webb took up his post in the summer of 2022, NASA decided to create a brand new deep space image of the universe. First and foremost, this has given astronomers and cosmologists some food for thought since its release. But that's what science is all about researching, discovering, allowing new things to happen, and learning. Even if some scientists are currently tearing their hair out and would like to hold on to their old theories and ideas, there's no going back now. James Webb teaches us that the beginnings of the universe were very different from what scientists have told us so far. If the idea of the Big Bang turns out to be wrong, we will have to find new explanations and ideas about the beginning of the universe. Even elementary forces such as gravity are currently under scrutiny. Other observations could once again call into question the existence of dark matter and energy. 
we cannot completely rule out the possibility that our universe is infinite in time and space. It is currently impossible to say whether we will ever succeed in finding out everything about the universe, especially as our ability to observe the cosmos has a tiny little catch, the impossibility of seeing the present universe. It may sound surprising, but observing the current state of the universe is actually more difficult than observing its past. When we look at depth images like those of Hubble and Webb, we are always looking into the past. Even if there was a star in the foreground that was only three light years away, we would see the star on the image as it was three years ago. We see the old galaxies like Macy's Galaxy as they were 13.5 billion years ago and more. It is very likely that these galaxies still exist today, but they have moved so far away from us that we would not be able to see them in real time, even if we had the technology to do so. The impossibility of seeing the universe in real time also has some scary aspects. Imagine a gigantic black hole wandering through the universe, and we might not be able to see it until it appears just outside our front door. There are computer programs that use incredibly complex systems to reconstruct the sky as it really is at the moment, but these star charts are not much more exciting or beautiful for the layman than the night sky, which always tells us a story of the past. If we want to see the present, we have to look at our immediate surroundings here on Earth. Only the light that is traveling right in front of your nose needs just a few fractions of a second to hit your eyes. For scientists, this effect is actually a forgivable minor matter. There are so many exciting and impressive things to observe in the universe that nobody bothers to look back in time. Researchers observe the dance of thousands of galaxies, see how they come together to form gigantic groups, or can marvel at galaxies that come together and merge to form a completely new galaxy. They see supernova in galaxies millions of light years away, can measure gigantic black holes devouring matter in the center of monster galaxies, and marvel at cosmic oddities such as neutron stars or quasars. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries signing off.